Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 4 EVS chapter 2 year to year. I am going to explain this chapter and we will also be discussing textbook solutions. The purpose of this video is to make kids understand. The answers are just for reference only. Students are highly recommended to write their own answers. The answers may vary from student to student based on their observations. Here in this chapter, we are going to discuss different types of animals and their ears. We are going to discuss about their skin patterns and hairs on their body. See, in this picture, observe the animals carefully. See, elephant has got big ears and it can move its ears forward and backward. Rabbit has got small ears and mouse also it has got small ears giraffe ears are small when compared to its big structure next you can see the ears of buffalo it has got ears on its side next you can see the ears of dog on top of its head next see the ears of these which is different from others now we are going to do one exercise here in this picture you can see the animals of elephant, buffalo, giraffe, deer, dog, mouse and rabbit. Here the ears of those animals are misplaced. See elephant has got mouse ears and uh, giraffe has got elephant ears. So the ears are misplaced. We are going to find which animal has got which animals ears see here animal ear they have given elephant has got mouse ears rabbit has got giraffe ears see the picture i have given below for your reference next mouse has got dog ears giraffe has got elephant ears dog has got rabbit ears and buffalo has got deer ear and deer has got buffalo ear so this way it has misplaced wrong ears of other animals next we are going to see animals whose ears can be seen and whose ears that we cannot see different animals have different kinds of ears among those animals which one have ears that you can see and in which animals you cannot see the ears you are going to write in this tabular column here the given animals are deer, frog fish and crow tiger, sparrow, buffalo, snake, lizard, pig, duck, giraffe, elephant, cat. The animals with ears that we can see are tea, tiger, buffalo, pig, giraffe, elephant, cat. Animals with ears that we cannot see are frog, fish, ant, crow, sparrow, snake, lizard and duck. Next see the bird's ears. We cannot see a bird's ears. A bird has tiny holes on both the sides of its head. Generally, these holes are covered with feathers. They help the bird to hear. Next, see the picture of lizard. If you look carefully, you will see tiny holes on a lizard's head. These are its ears. Next, see the picture of crocodile. A crocodile also has ears like this but we cannot see them easily. Do you think that the animals whose ears we cannot see really do not have ears? No, they have ears but it is hidden. Next, observe this picture and name the animals in the picture. Here you can see duck, parrot, frog, sparrow, hen and crow. They all have ears even though we cannot see them. Next, find out some other animals which have ears that we cannot see. So, they are swan, fish, fly, mosquito, crocodile, etc. Next, read and write. An animal with ears like plants is elephant. An animal with ears like leaves is deer. An animal with ears on the top of its head is rabbit. An animal with ears on both the sides of its head is dog. Next, we are going to see skins of different animals. Now, you know how to recognize animals by their ears. Let us see if you can recognize animals by their skin. Match the animals shown here with the pictures of their skin. 
so make the correct pattern of the skin on the picture of each animal so you can draw the pic, uh, skin texture on each animal so here what are the animals given squirrel deer zebra tiger leopard so you can match their skin patterns so you can draw those skin patterns on the respective animals see i have matched here you can draw on your textbook the different patterns on the animals are due to the hair on their skin have you ever seen an animal without hair or whose hair has been removed imagine how the animal would look if it did not have any or hair on its skin there would be no pattern if there is no hair then there would be no pattern on their skin see in the next picture there are list of animals example fox elephant sparrow pigeon frog crow crow peacock pig mouse cat buffalo duck hen camel lizard crow sorry cow next these pictures are given we are going to arrange them in the tabular column see ears can be seen elephant fox pig mouse cat buffalo camel cow which has ear hair on their skin elephant fox pig mouse cat buffalo camel cow ears cannot be seen these are the animals which ears cannot be seen they are sparrow pigeon frog crow peacock duck hen lizard which has feathers on their skin they are sparrow pigeon crow peacock duck hen so which has feathers obviously the birds have feathers so in this uh, list so can you uh, see hair on buffalo and crow so if you go and see near them you can observe carefully if you meet an elephant would you dare to touch it touch its skin and feel the hair on the elephant next what we are going to do is next we are going to see the animals which give birth and the animals which lay eggs those animals that whose ears we can see have hair on their body these animals directly give birth to young ones example cow dog cat monkey next animals which lay eggs those animals that do not have ears on their body do not also have hair on their body these animals lay eggs so the animals which lay eggs do not have ears and hair on their body they are birds hen lisa so we are going to tablet them separately frog crow peacock pigeon hen sparrow lizard duck these are animals legs the animals which give birth are fox elephant camel buffalo cow mouse cat lizard and pig next next we are going to see pet have you seen animals around your house or school that have small babies write their names in no names in your notebook have you ever kept a pet does anyone you know keep a pet we are going to find more about the pet so which animal is it whether it is a dog cat which animal is it you can write does it have a name so each pet animal has name so you can write the name of that pet animal who gave it this name you can write whether it is your parent or relative or your friend you can write the name of that person what does it like to eat you can write the food of that pet animal how many times a day is it given food whether it is still three times a day or four times a day you can write when does it sleep whether it uh, sleeps for 2 3 uh, 2 to 3 hours or 5 to 6 hours you can write that is there any special way to look after this animal how how special you take care to look after that animal you can write that with um, some animal sleeps some pet animal sleeps in a blanket so it has special food so like that you can 
right does it get angry when how do you know it is angry yes animals also get angry each pet animal expresses it in different way so how do you know that it is angry does it have hair or feathers on its skin you can write whether it has hair or feathers can you see its ears yes or no you can write is it a baby or a young animal or a full grown animal will this pet animal lay eggs or give birth to babies so does it have young ones you can write whether it has young ones draw a picture of your pet animal and color it give it a name of your own choice here i have drawn the picture of a dog you can write draw your pet animal picture and write the name next look at this picture color the parts which have even numbers so what do you see find out the name of the animal so here if you color the even numbers you will be getting this animal so what does this animal is this is dinosaurus many many years ago they were dinosaurs dinosaurs on earth but not anymore we see these animals in films photos books so gather few details about this animal dinosaurs and share it with your friends next look at this animal in the picture write its name so what is this animal in this picture yes it is tiger do you know that this is our national animal yes it is our national animal where does it live it lives in forest wildlife sanctuaries there you can see this tiger the numbers of this animal are going down in india discuss why this could be happening so this decrease in animal number is due to poaching that is illegal hunting and deforestation so what you should do you should not cut any plants or trees instead you should plant and grow trees by this way we can save our human lives as well as animal lives will you all do it kids yes chapter 2 year to year ends here hope i have discussed all from this chapter hope you all understood give a comment like and share this video thanks for watching